today's quick tip it's still all about abrasives and for today's tip it is about these fiber backed sandy discs um, like I said before, they come in all various different sizes. Uh, I believe the biggest is nine inch, the smallest is four. Um, and regardless of how good these are, they still wear out. Um, as you can see, on a four and a half inch wheel, obviously we like to use the edges of the grinder to hog down the material faster. So what happens is the edges burn up really, really quick, which makes the inside of the pad almost useless. So what you're able to do is if you start with the larger wheels, like my seven inch, I have a backing pad in seven inch as well. As you can see, the edges burn up really, really quick. But the tip is I use a lot of five inch materials uh, in the shop for my grinder. But if you take a five inch wheel on the seven inch pad, I'm gonna use the collar as a template. You take a good pair of scissors, now granted you will wear out your scissors over time, but if you take your scissors, what you can do is use a template on the top and essentially you cut all of the bad material off of the edge, which allows you to have the edge back on the sanding disc. Now, what I did was, this is a four and a half inch wheel. This is a five inch wheel. I like to cut them to five inches. So this way here, when you put them back on, there's a little material on the outside edge of your backing pad, which allows a little bit more flex when you're grinding in various angles and corners. So you make the one investment for a seven inch wheel, as you can see, this one took some damage, but even this one has the ability to be cut down and recycled into another four and a half or five inch wheel, which allows you to spend the money once and use them twice. And this is my quick tip.